guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing my ideas for Christmas gift baskets. These are for friends, family, coworkers, everybody. And best of all, these work with most budgets and are pretty easy to put together. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's start with the kids. Barbie is such a classic gift for girls and these days they come in different shapes and sizes, all different shades, and you can find them pretty much wherever you can buy toys. Now throughout the year, I'll pick up dolls and accessories that I see on sale. The girls in my family have aged out of the Barbie phase, so most of this gets donated during the holidays. Today, I'm making gift baskets and they're super easy. I'm not gonna go through the whole process this time. Just know that patience and glue dots are your friends. The thing about any brand of dolls, accessories are a must. This is what's gonna keep her happy and busy during playtime. So I've added extra fashions, play sets, even Barbie brand toothbrushes, there's hair detangler there, tissues. The headphones are so cute and kid friendly and they were under $20. This will be a great gift for a little lady that's in that three to nine year old range. Now for my little guys, every boy wants to be a superhero, right? That's why this one is so easy. Just like Barbie, you can find Marvel or DC stuff pretty much anywhere. And I found a lot this year. I came across action figures, puzzles, headphones and DVDs. It's always good to add some kind of tech in these kids gifts. I try to stay away from apparel for kids because they grow so fast and I want them to be able to enjoy their gifts from me for more than just a few months. Blue and red, as you can see, are such superhero colors, so it's usually easy to find things that coordinate. And it's always okay if you wanna add something sweet to the gift. I was able to add a cup of uh, full of candy to the Captain America basket. I don't know if you can see it back there. This is something I think a boy between three and eight or even a little older would love waking up to on Christmas morning. And of course, girls are superheroes too. The Wonder Woman sequel is coming out soon, so there's merchandise everywhere. And you could easily tweak this to make it more adult if you know a young woman who's a fan. Just lose the doll, replace the type of book. It's a, it's a pretty versatile gift. I made the picture frame part of the basket, and that gold tubing was my version of the Lasso of Truth, just in bow form. Again, the red and blue are prominent. Superheroes love their primary colors, apparently. And you could also go with the whole girl power theme with this one. And here you can see all three baskets. Now this next one is a little outside of the box and it's great for boys and girls. I thought Lego was just building blocks and play sets but they have a pretty cool line of stationary supplies, including what you see on the screen here. It's journals and organizers and stuff. If Lego is outside of your budget, any cool looking writing journal set will be okay. I added some building blocks to the basket for decoration. Hopefully they don't end up on my floor. I think it turned out nicely. The brand says this is suitable for kids ages six and up, uh, but I actually know some adults who would like this gift as well. Makeup is always a nice gift for ladies who wear it. Drug stores, department stores, even dollar stores, you can find good stuff. This one on the end is my favorite. I call it Elf on the Shelf. I took a plain gift box, amputated the legs off of an elf decoration and filled the box with cosmetics. Elf brand is really affordable and this took about 20 minutes to make. I thought it turned out nicely. Skincare is really important, and between the drugstore and beauty stores, you can get pretty much everything you need. Green Goo, there on the end, and Eco Tools, they both make natural products that are really good for the skin, so I included those items. I also added Yes To and Freeman brand face masks. These are generally 
no more than three or four dollars a piece. The main thing that'll determine the cost of a basket like this is the face brush. To keep costs low, you can go with a manual brush. Even some electric ones start at just a few dollars. This Nova kit one was under 50 bucks. I think this is cool uh, for ladies or gentlemen because skincare is for everybody. Hashtag black girl magic. This one might be my favorite. It was definitely a labor of love. This basket includes curated items for women made by black creators and from black businesses. Shea Moisture, for example, uh, is widely available. Black Girl Sunscreen and Honey Pot are both at Target. I believe Uncle Funky's daughter is as well. Everyone should have Nikki Giovanni's works in their libraries. So these are items that she's actually going to get some use out of and it's all easily attainable. Or just reach out to your local black artists and businesses. Uh, in fact, let's start normalizing shopping local more often, especially for the holidays. The support is always appreciated and the gift recipient will love it. Now we always talk about self-care and for a lot of us ladies that can include spa treatments and nice fragrances. Well the same can be true for guys, even the super macho ones. I made this with items from Bath and Body Works, but you can do this with any brand of men's fragrances. I included a candle because candles are awesome. And I also included a journal. That's the black book you see back there because journaling can be very relaxing. Now, some people are really ticky about fragrances or they may have allergies. So this should be for someone that you know pretty well. So fathers, brothers, boyfriends and husbands, this is a gift for them. They should get a kick out of it. Now this is food, so obviously it can be for anybody, but I'm gonna give it a little bit of a masculine uh, tweak to it with the decor. Pancakes and oatmeal are very hearty, and this brand, uh, this Kodiak Cakes, is full of protein. I added organic natural syrup to this, and I think the Jack Daniels coffee really adds to the theme. I went with the Buffalo Check reusable storage bin here and a matching bow that I made. And this went from just groceries to a really cool breakfast kit with some high quality items. And hopefully the aesthetic will encourage the gifty to enjoy a nice breakfast on Christmas morning. So not everyone is into the whole holly jolly Christmas, and I get that. So for that person, I made what I call a gothic Christmas basket. I went dark with everything, the book, the skull tea light holder, the lantern, everything, which makes that red filler in the basket really pop. I added some peppermints in the mug for a little extra treat, but there's nothing merry and bright about this gift. It's just really cool. And I'm sure we all know at least one person that would prefer this over like a basket of Christmas cookies. Here's a gift for anyone you know and care about. In 2020, this is very practical. I call it Be Well. I made several of these this fall for some teachers going back to school. And this includes essential items, your disinfectant spray, which is sometimes hard to find right now, hand sanitizer and wipes, a digital thermometer, all things that we should have to help move past this pandemic. Pass one of these baskets on to your parents and grandparents, your friends. You can even make smaller versions with travel size items that can be used as stocking stuffers.
finally, we're going to talk about gifts for those people you may or may not be that close to, but they're still a part of your life. And we're keeping everything under $20. This one is very affordable. We take some candy canes, chocolate, hot cocoa mix, and a cute mug. Stuff that mug with shredded paper. And you have what I like to call a muggle treat. Each one is about $5 total, including the mug. This next one is so simple, it may seem strange. It's individual cereal and milk with a bowl. And the reason this is good for coworkers is because they can actually keep this at their desks or in their locker, and they don't have to worry if they miss breakfast at home because they've got their own cereal and milk at the office. It's also cool for college students or just anyone who likes cereal. Seriously, you just can't go wrong with food. So I often do a color themed basket of snacks. This one is blue. You can do red and go with items like Twizzlers and Doritos or go yellow with like lemon cookies and Yoohoo. Just infinite possibilities with this one. Easily under budget, especially if you hit up your local dollar store. Great for any age and it always, always gets used. coffee and cocoa, basically any hot beverage. You can keep it color coordinated like I have here, the cookies, uh, the marshmallows, everything has red packaging. Or you can stick with certain brands. Starbucks is a common one for coffee, but there are so many more options. If you have a local coffee shop, see if they sell their own brand um, or if they have gift cards, those make really good gifts. A gift card is always cool to add to a gift basket if you want to add some extra value to it. Um, but we're keeping it on a budget here, so <laughs> gift cards are completely optional. Uh, all of us know at least a couple of coffee drinkers, and the cocoa gift can be for kids or adults. Well, that's all for now, guys. I hope you got some good ideas. Comment below if you did, and I'd love to know which ones you're going to try. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. There's a whole lot more to come. Happy holidays, y'all.